blood in the urine after a cold? It sounds minor, right? But it could be the first sign of IgE nephropathy. That's the most common kidney disease you've actually never heard of. And here's what terrifies patients the most. By the time you have symptoms, the damage has already started. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Dr. Sean Hashmi, board-certified nephrologist and obesity medicine specialist. And if you've just been diagnosed with IgA nephropathy, I know the fear is overwhelming. You're Googling at 2 a.m., you're reading worst-case scenarios, you're wondering, will I need dialysis? But here's what your doctor might not have told you. IgA nephropathy today is not what it was 10 years ago, and the treatments we now have can completely change your prognosis. If you're new to the channel here, please hit that subscribe button. I share evidence-based kidney health content every single week that could save your kidney function. Now today, you'll learn exactly what IgA nephropathy is, why it happens, and why early diagnosis matters so much. I'm going to bust all the common myths you might know, show you how it differs from other kidney diseases, and give you hope you might not be feeling right now. Let's dive in. What is IgA nephropathy? Simply put, IgA nephropathy is an immune system miscommunication. Your body produces antibodies called IgA. Normally, these IgA antibodies, they protect you from infections, especially in your gut and respiratory tract. Think of them as security guards patrolling the, inst the entrances to your body. But in IgA, something goes wrong. These IgA antibodies become faulty. They clump together. They form large immune complexes that travel through your bloodstream. And here's the problem. These clumps get stuck in the filtering units of your kidneys, structures called glomeruli. Once they lodge there, they trigger this massive inflammation response and scarring. Scientifically, we call this an immune complex mediated glomerulonephritis. That's a mouthful. But all you need to know is this. Your immune system, which is supposed to protect you, is accidentally attacking the filters in your kidneys. And that's inflammation. And it's silent, meaning you won't feel it happening, but it's damaging your kidneys every single day. Now, the moment of diagnosis. Let me pause here, because if you were just diagnosed, I want to acknowledge something. You are scared. Most of my patients describe the same overwhelming feeling. You went in for a routine checkup, maybe after a cold or flu, and suddenly there's blood and protein in your urine. Your doctor says we need to do more tests. Maybe you need to have a kidney biopsy. And then you hear the words, you have IgA nephropathy. And immediately your mind races. Is this cancer? Will I need dialysis? Can I still have kids? Will I be able to work? These fears are all valid. But here's what I tell every single patient in my practice. Fear comes from uncertainty. And the biggest problem most IG nephropathy patients face isn't the disease itself, it's the information gap. Your doctor might have given you a pamphlet or told you to follow up in three months, but that leaves you Googling, reading outdated forum posts from 2008 and spiraling into worst case scenarios. That's exactly why I created this series, to close that gap. Because when you understand what's happening in your body, when you know the science behind your diagnosis, and when you have a clear action plan, the fear doesn't disappear, but it becomes manageable. You shift from feeling like a victim to feeling like you're in control. Let me know if you were diagnosed after a routine test or if you had visible symptoms that sent you to the doctor. Pop it in the comments below. I want to understand your journey and where you are and where you started. All right, let's dive into who gets IgA nephropathy. And more importantly, why do some people progress faster than others? Here's what the research shows. IgA nephropathy is the most common primary glomerular nephritis worldwide, but it's not evenly distributed. Geography matters. In Asia, IgA nephropathy accounts for up to 40% of all kidney biopsies. In Europe and the United States, it's about 12 to 22%. Why the difference? Well, we don't fully know, but genetics can play a role. There are certain gene variants that are more common in Asian populations. But the environment matters too. Infections, diet, 
gut bacteria all influence your immune system. And age matters. Most people are diagnosed in their teens to 30s. It's rare in young children and less common after the age of 50. Now, disparities also matter, and this is crucial. While IG nephropathy is more common in Asians, research shows that progression, meaning how fast the disease worsens, is often more aggressive in Hispanic and Black patients in the United States. Why? My take is often it's linked to a delayed diagnosis. If you don't get screened early, if you don't have access to a kidney specialist, if your blood pressure isn't controlled, the disease progresses faster. This is why I'm so passionate about early detection. This is why I want everyone, regardless of background, to know the warning signs. Because IG and nephropathy, it doesn't care about your zip code, but your access to care does. Why early diagnosis changes everything? Well, here's a number that should grab your attention. If IG and nephropathy is untreated or under-treated, up to 40% of the patients will progress to kidney failure. That's what we call end-stage renal disease within 20 years. Let that sink in. Four out of 10 patients. Before you panic, let me give you the good news. That statistic comes from older data from the 1990s and early 2000s before we had treatments we have today. I can tell you right now, a patient diagnosed in 2025 has a fundamentally different prognosis than somebody diagnosed in 2005. Why? Three reasons. First, we have SGLT2 inhibitors, medications originally developed for diabetes that reduce kidney disease progression by 30 to 40 percent. Second, we have targeted therapies like nephicon and sparsentin that directly address the mechanisms causing IG nephropathy. And third, we understand the four-hit model, the exact chain reaction that causes kidney damage. And when you know the mechanism, you can interrupt it. I'm going to show you all of these treatments in episode number four. But first, you need to understand what early diagnosis matters because the inflammation and scarring happening in your kidneys is silent. You won't feel pain. You won't feel tired, at least not until your kidney function drops quite low. And by then, you have lost 70, 80, or more of your function. That's why we can't wait for symptoms. We have to catch this early. We have to track your labs, and we have to treat aggressively. Now, let's look at IgA nephropathy versus other kidney disease. So you might be wondering, how is IgA nephropathy different from other kidney diseases? Well, this is a great question. Let me break it down. When you look at diabetic kidney disease, it's caused by years of high blood sugar, damaging the small blood vessels in your kidneys. IG nephropathy is caused by your immune system. They both cause protein in the urine or proteinuria, and they can both progress to kidney failure. But the treatment is completely different. What about IG nephropathy versus lupus nephritis? Lupus is a systemic autoimmune disease where your body attacks multiple organs kidneys, skin, joints, brain. And IG nephropathy is kidney specific. It's not going to cause a rash or joint pain. The kidney biopsy looks different too. In lupus, we see different patterns of immune complex deposition. What about IG nephropathy versus focal segmental glomerulosclerosis? That's a mouthful. It's known as FSGS. Now, FSGS is scarring of the glomeruli, but it is not driven by IgA. It's often genetic or caused by high blood pressure in the filtering system, and treatment is different. Why does this matter? Because the biopsy, the kidney biopsy, is the only way to definitively tell these apart, and the biopsy guides your treatment. You can't treat IgA nephropathy like you treat lupus. can't treat FSGS like you treat IgA nephropathy. Now, what about some common myths? about IG nephropathy. Let me bust three myths I hear from my patients every single week. Myth number one, IG nephropathy always leads to dialysis. With modern treatment, many patients never progress. If we catch it early, if we optimize your medications, if we control your blood pressure and proteinuria, you can live a full life with stable kidney function. Myth number two, there's nothing I can do. It's just bad luck. The reality is you have tremendous control. 
your diet, your blood pressure, your medication adherence, your lifestyle. These factors determine your outcome more than your genes do. We'll cover all of this in episode number five. And myth number three, I have to give up everything I enjoy. Reality is this isn't a death sentence. You don't have to quit your job. You don't have to stop traveling. You don't have to live in fear of every meal. You have to be intentional. You have to track your numbers, but you can still live a vibrant, full life. I have patients running marathons. I have patients having babies. I have patients thriving in their careers. IgA nephropathy is manageable. Now, a question for all of you. What was your first question when you had the diagnosis of IG nephropathy? Share it below. This will help people to feel like they're not alone. All right, let's summarize what you learned today. IG nephropathy is an immune system disorder where faulty IgA antibodies damage your kidneys. It is the most common glomerulonephritis. Early diagnosis changes everything. And with modern treatments, your prognosis is far better than it was a decade ago. But here's what we haven't answered yet. What is exactly happening inside your kidneys to cause this damage? What is the precise chain reaction? And that's exactly what we will cover in episode two, the famous four hit model. I'm going to show you the exact sequence of events that causes IG nephropathy. And when you understand the mechanism, you'll understand why the new treatments work. Here's what I need you to do. If this video helped you to understand IG nephropathy better, hit that like button. Subscribe for more weekly evidence-based kidney health content, along with general nutrition and longevity content. Share the series with someone who just got diagnosed. It could change their entire outlook. Next, watch episode two. It's the perfect follow, and it's the key to understanding your treatment options. Drop your biggest question about IG nephropathy in the comments below. And always, I finish every video by asking you to practice kindness and gratitude to others and to yourself by taking care of your health. Thank you for watching. I'll see everyone in episode two.